first back brought Gwen along because we have the new PlayStation 4 Spider-Man! Yes, what's up, what's happening? So excited to play this. Yeah. The Iron Spider is also here to give you some quick tips on the game from my personal playthrough. Be sure to upgrade your web slinger quick. You're gonna be using this for battle mechanics throughout the game constantly. So always just be sure to be like, hey, can I upgrade a cartridge? Heck yeah, do that because you know the first web shot, the first one you have, that's gonna be one of your most used uh, strategies to fight people in the game. Would you like the honors to open this? Case? I get to unbox. Yeah, Sunny Gwen. I get Glenn. to unbox, guys. Spotty senses. They're tingling. They're tingling. They're tingling. Ooh. Dun dun dun. Crack, Here crack that open. Oh, thanks. <laughs> The symbol of our people. The spider. <laughs> the spider. Another tip, you can take a photo while you're web slinging in midair. So be sure to press that up button and then hold R real quick and then just grab that picture of the building or whatever you're flying across. It'll save you a lot of time and I didn't realize this until later on in the game. So it would have saved me a lot of time swinging through the city instead of landing on each building. Just going through the air and just taking a quick picture. PlayStation published 45 gigs, so we're gonna throw this in the PS4 Pro so uh, it can install and stuff. Let's do this! <laughs> One more tip, save your base and challengers token. You're going to need them in the late game. You don't get challengers token until way later on in the game, but trust me, you're gonna want, be wanting to save these tokens to use them to upgrade your gear and you're getting the suits you want later on in the game. So be sure to use them sparingly. If you do have them, always have like three or five stacked up, ready to go, so that you don't have to worry later on if you really want a suit. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, X. Let me look at this. New game? <gasps> Dude, you can make a game, I can make a game. Dope. <laughs> amazing, spectacular, friendly. Sure. Okay, okay, we'll go for amazing. Let's just do this! For all you trophy hunters out there, here is the best way to obtain the platinum trophy. Now keep in mind, there are no missable trophies throughout your playthrough. But what you'll need to do is complete the main story. It should take you around 15 hours or so. And then after that, the open world, well, opens up. So check this out, you'll have to do all the collectibles, all the side missions, and any extra hidden Easter egg trophies that you need in order to unlock the Platinum Trophy. That includes getting all the suits, unlocking every skill tree item, getting 24 of the 27 challenges completed. Don't spend all your challenge tokens and base tokens quite yet. Keep them all until after the story. Then you can make a manual save, buy 15 upgrades, reload your save to get all your tokens back, and buy all the suits. Aha, a little life hack. It's all him, man. Get used to the battle combat quick. Be sure to press circle so that you can dodge everything and constantly do those perfect dodges. And also be sure to get used to using your web slinger, stunning enemies, grabbing them, and also square, hold that square button and uppercut them up. Cause that's gonna be one of your main defenses to just avoiding a lot of contact and not dying all the time. Web slinging around, you know, L2, R2 to different areas and pressing triangle to just speed ramp and just like hit them real quick. Uh, those are gonna be all essential to your gameplay. Even now in late game, I'm learning more and getting better at fighting. And you know, you just have to be able to become a Spider-Man and swing around, kill enemies, and use stealth mode if you want, and just take them on. And be sure to take out those torpedo guys first because, man, they will knock you out. One hour later. Look at the webbing. That is some high quality web. <laughs> that was it, my guys. We beat Wilson Fist. We did it! Another tip! On a personal level, I focus on web slinging and compatibility of 
with a lot of the challenges going around throughout the game and to just get in areas in general, you're going to want to get there quick. So web slinging is your way to do it. Flip and just go there fast. So if you see those on the skill tree, level those up first and then go on to combat. But in general, I'd say just level up everything, but be sure to get the faster flipping web slinging stuff first so that you can get through the game faster. Tossing items is a great skill, so if you want to go explore that in the skill tree, I love that. I use it all the time. Woo! <laughs> what a gaming sesh. That was quite the session. Final tip, get that black cat suit by completing all her side quest missions. It's my personal favorite. This is less of a tip, more of a personal preference. That black cat suit is hot. It was great. It was so fast was paced. It was really fun. I'm your Spider-Man. I'm Spider-Man, right? Spider-Man. Or am I? <laughs> it's the Iron Spider. That's what I am. So should you get this game? If you are a normal Spider-Man game buyer from PlayStation 1 to PlayStation 2, of course, get this game. You gotta. You've been playing this since you were a little kid, I bet. Same for me. Now, we're older, you can play it, play better, and it's honestly, this some of the smoothest gameplay you're gonna get out of Spider-Man. It's very difficult. Are you gonna get your own copy? I am gonna get my own copy. This, uh, actually, you know what? Thank you so no, much. No, <laughs> no! Spider-Gwen is gonna get her own copy. This is Iron Spider. I'm really looking forward to playing. Uh, there was a lot of detail, it was fast paced, and some really cool combat moves. Yeah. I, I can only imagine how much better it's gonna get as the game goes on. And they got DLC already? Dude, they got like a Black Cat DLC. Let's hope one day, you know, in the future, they make a Spider-Verse DLC. That would be amazing. That would be That'd the be game amazing. changer. They have the costumes, they got the suits, mm -hmm. but that whole realm, the Spider-Verse, that little Dimension Warp universe, vampires, all that jazz. Anyone up for that challenge? <laughs> Let's make it happen. All right, guys, I think that's it. Um, we played it and we're really, really loving it. Uh, it's 45 gigabytes. Yeah. Clear some room on your hard drive. Clear that room. This, this is a must. Thanks for watching the video. Leave a comment. Are you gonna grab the game? Maybe, maybe not. And smash the like button. It really helps. It helps quite a bit. Subscribing does too. Subscribe for more nerdy content, cosplay, all that good jazz. Enjoy the game, guys. Catch you guys next time. Remember, guys, like always. Stop, Stop hate, hate, make, make love. love. And anyone can be a hero. Even this guy. <laughs> <laughs> even this guy. Even, even this guy. <laughs> okay. Fair, fair. <laughs>